So to the second of our finals here this afternoon, and it's men's singles. It's an all-Chinese affair. The current world champion, Lin Dan, who was the number three seed at the start of the week up against the number five seed, the former world champion, Chen Jin. And of course, you can see that Lin Dan, the world and Olympic champion, defeated the world number one, Li Chong Wei, in two straight games in the semi-finals. But let me draw your attention also to the quarterfinals and two Indian players. A real resurgence of Indian badminton under the guidance of Pulena Gopichand. Our court officials, Greg Velicotta of Australia and Daniel Law from Hong Kong. So to the reigning world Olympic champion. Four times he's won a gold medal at the World Championships. Four times he's won this title in Hong Kong. And today is appearing in his sixth final at the Hong Kong Open. Only time he's been in the final and he failed to win was in 2008. And he was beaten by this man. Chen Jin. The Olympic bronze medalist from Beijing. Chen Jin. World champion, so in Paris last year. Well, Lin Dan just indicating to the umpire that he's won the toss, he wishes to serve. So I don't understand why players do that nowadays. Always a difference in end. In whatever stadium we're in, there's always a slight difference. And of course, under the old scoring system, you could only score a point when you were serving, and therefore it was an advantage to serve because you immediately had the opportunity to score points. That's no longer the case because there's a point per rally. So the world number three, and look at his win-loss record for the year, 53 and five and that translates into six previous finals winning four titles korea germany grand prix asian badminton championships and of course those world championships as well well his path through to today's final his toughest match was actually in the first round against kashap parupali dropped the opening game before coming back 21 17 21 14 in an hour and seven minutes but of course, the semi final yesterday against Li Chong Wei, who was the two time defending champion. Li Chong Wei has won the Hong Kong Open for the past two years. But he was 3 9 down in the, that opening game and then 7 11 down before winning six straight points to win in two straight games. So to his opponent, Chen Jin, the 25 year old from Hubei province, seeded five. three finals this year prior to this but only one title that was in Singapore and he was supposed to play his opponent of today in that Singapore Open final and Lindan unable to play because of what was described as gastric flu so like Lindan his toughest match was in the first round against Hong Kong's very own Hu Yun dropped the opening game and in fact, was way down in the second. He was 13-17 down in that second game before winning seven straight points to go 20-17 up. Well, last meeting was in the French Open. Head-to-head -head is actually 13-5 because one of the matches down in that head-to-head -head list the Asian Badminton Championships is listed twice so there's actually the 19th meeting between the two of them and that quarter-final in France as we look at our match officials 
I can tell you that Lynn Dan dropped the opening game, 11-21, and was actually booed by the fans in Paris because it appeared to the fans that wasn't playing his normal sort of style of play and reacted to the crowd's displeasure while promptly winning the second and third games. So the men's singles final. The world and Olympic champion. Far side of the court, the left hander. Up against the former world champion Chen Jin. The five Hong Kong Open titles between the two of them. And just one for this man, 2008. This man, Lindan, won his titles in 2003, 2005, 6 and 7. A year ago, the Hong Kong Open, Lindan pulled out at the quarterfinal stage. Didn't even take to the court. Well, Chen Jin yesterday evening playing against the world number two, his teammate Chen Long. Had the easiest match he's had so far in the tournament. His first round match, which went to three games against Hu Yun, was 57 minutes. Second round against Yan Jorgensen was 45 minutes. Against Peter Gaida, the winner of the Hong Kong Open 14 years ago. In 1997, a veteran Dane still playing some great badminton, but that was two games, 55 minutes. And then Chen Jin yesterday in his semi final against Chen Long, who's been in great form recently. Whole match was over in just 32 minutes. Just yesterday in Lin Dan's semi final against Lee Chong Wei. That is left knee heavily bandaged. No sign of it today. Gifted point. Yeah. Nice 
nicely done. Finds the line. Well, I think Greg Velicott of Australia, the umpire, just saying to Lindan, don't try and influence the line judges. the sort of shot we expect from Lindan. The injection of pace. And taking it early at the nets. Very positive and aggressive in his style yesterday against world number one Lee Chong Wei. point from Chen Jin. It means that Lin Dan has a two-point advantage at mid-game interval. And of course both players from China and therefore no coaching staff involved. Back to the good old days when the coaches just coached prior to the match and helped in the preparation. And then it's down to the athletes themselves. excitement and intensity of that mixed doubles final. This men's singles yet to really ignite. smash there from Chen Jin was to great effect it's amazing that he's already up to number five in the world rankings when you consider that for the Sudaman Cup in May earlier this year played in Qingdao in China didn't even make the squad wasn't good enough to be part of the squad let alone the team Oh, 
yet to really see a long extended rally. down the forehand side second one goes down the backhand and push deep into the forehand corner like that yesterday against Lee Chong Wei. And Dan's defense was absolutely superb and I think that's what contributed to his victory. Because I think Lee Chong Wei started to get frustrated that so many of his shots that he was expecting to be winners were not just coming back, they were coming back with interest. Oh, that was getting well wide. It's these winning shots, the capability to hit winners that makes Lin Dan so special. Chen Jin, in contrast, more of a worker on court, relies on wearing down his opponents. I don't think that's going to happen today against Lin Dan. Just 13 minutes. Well, different class to be honest. Lin Dan in that opening game against Chen Jin. And when you witness an opening game like that, it's hard to understand how Chen Jin has ever beaten Lin Dan because Lin Dan just has so many more shots, so many more winners and so faster on court. And there's the confirmation of the opening game, 21-12.
So the players return to court. Four times world champion, four times All England champion, having been in six consecutive finals. Winner of 44 career titles, but only 13 Super Series. And Dan, phenomenal athlete. One game to the good, 21 12. Against teammate Chen Jin. Oh, that's landed well in. Well, Lindan had guessed correctly. Knew which side the smash was going to come. surrounding the court not even close so far strewn with the errors from both men. when two players from the same nation play against each other they'll know each other's games very well indeed train together on a daily basis hesitation there from Linda talked about the drift during the mixed doubles final We look down on the court, drift going from right to left, and also coming faster, coming towards us.
Uh, turning to play the high backhand and didn't take it particularly high. Just wide. Drift coming into play, shuffle going faster, going towards Lindan, going long of that back line. Way through the second game, the entire match has been in progress the same length of time as the opening game of the mixed doubles final. Just an indication of how short these rallies are. titles for this man five of them super series bit of a difference to Lindan's 44 career titles Just indicating that he's aware of the drift. Oh, it's just wide. Yeah, a little look from Lindan towards the umpire. As if to say you're going to overrule that. Well, the umpire can only overrule if he sees that a clear error has been made. And, of course, any shot on that far side of the court to where the umpire is sitting, he can't possibly have a clear sight of that.
the shot hitting the blue carpets around rather than the court. a shot to try. Oh, terrible indecision from them there. flat with the lift there, Lindan. Right into the hitting zone. Chen Jin. just doesn't have the agility of his opponent when he dives. Doesn't get up again so quickly. In fact, there, didn't get up again at all. Well, points towards the lights. He has been having trouble all week. Deep in that forehand corner for the right-handers.
Walker's one of the back line, and therefore two match points to the former champion. And Dan. Lindan was woefully short and ensured a smash from Chen Jin probably would have gone along with the back line. Oh, it's going way out. Trying to do a trick shot. Still match point, of course, to Lindan. Yeah, it's landed in. 21-12, 21-19 in the margin of victory. Not the most inspiring of matches. Didn't live up to the excitement of our first final this afternoon, the mixed doubles. Often the case when two players play against each other from the same country. So for Lindan, his fifth Hong Kong Open title. There's confirmation of the score, 21-12, 21-19, in 32 minutes of play. This is the final rally. Uh,中间的时间太长了吧,因为有两三年没有打得特别好,所以今年非常幸运,所以最后面能拿到这个冠军,我觉得非常开心,谢谢大家。那么你觉得昨天跟李宗伟那场赛事,你也不是打得太
So, prize presentation for the men's singles coming up in just a moment. And to remind you also that we've got women's singles coming up. Wang Sin against Tina Baun of Denmark. And then we've got an all-Chinese women's doubles, a repeat of the World Championship final. And then men's doubles and the world champions, Kai Yun and Fu Haifeng of China up against the world number two ranked pair, Zhang Jie Sun and Li Yun Dei of Korea. Well, he was champion here in 2008, was Chen Jin. He has to settle for second best this year. So Lin Dan takes his fifth Hong Kong Open title. His fifth title also of 2011. Just too many errors from Chen Jin today. Can't afford that against a reigning and four-time world champion. His 45th career title, 14th Super Series title for Linda. $18,750 US dollars for the winner. $9,500 for Chen Jin. Thank you, Mr. Ibi Hara. Did you want to tell me that I can raise it? I want to hit the We now have Mr. Chen to present the group 10. And now we have Miss Jenny Yin to present the winner's special prize, Housing You Forward. Can you only tell you to win my issue and what they want to do? What are they going to do? So I pose for the photographers, the men's singles finalists, plus the dignitaries. Just to remind you that next match will be the women's singles final, Wang Sin, the left-handed Chinese player, up against the European champion, Tina Baun of Denmark. Following that, we'll have women's doubles in a repeat of the World Championship final. And then the last of our five finals this afternoon, men's doubles, the world champions. 
against the world number twos, Jung and Lee from Korea.